Anybody who's just joining us, uh, sorry for the little uh, Twitch hiccup. Oh, dang. Okay, yeah, that was not intentional. Um, but we got... We're up against a... Oh, an interesting VGC competition. We got two starters, a Sylveon. We got a uh, Palafin. Ms. Magius is kind of interesting to see here. Now, the question is, if I'm going to go 6v6, what do I want to lead here? Uh, because they got some good speed on their side. I think maybe I should go for this. Maybe these two to lead. Or this one. Or, ooh, you know what? Actually, I think I'm going to go with this lead first. And then bring the rest on the back and see where we go. Okay, yeah. There we go. And sorry for the little interruption on the Twitch stream. If you're watching on YouTube after the fact, don't worry about that. We're playing a fun little... Uh, this team was built with some pairings mindset. So it's two Oricorios, two Gudra, and two Lilligant. Making sure everything has alternate forms. And we're up against what looks like as a, uh, a little bit of a fun Regulation H team build format. And they're going with a Meowskarata and Palafin lead. All right, so I've seen Palafin run two, well, three ways to switch out that I've seen personally. Um, okay, I think we're going to want to try for this and this. Oh, uh, we're, uh, we're running this one. Oh, that's funny. All right, okay, <laughs> that goes off. We're going to go for the Petal Blizzard, which is going to power up Mabel. And hit everybody with some grass damage. Fun tidbit here. On this team, there is one Pokemon that I told Curtis to pull on me. Okay. Yeah, Callan, Callan, is, uh, Callan likes to play some shenanigans. Oh, it went White Herb instead of switching out. Okay. I was thinking it, was, it would have that item to eject out after it gets a stat drop. Yeah, I like to pull bullshit. All right, um... Do I go for that, or... Hmm. You know what? Uh, ooh, or that. Hmm. Okay, this is a tough call what direction I want to go with here. I think... You might want to go for the safer play. Yeah, I'm going to go for this one, and yeah, I'm going to do that again. Yeah, Bite's coming off again, so Lilligant is taking some decent hits there. I don't imagine Lilligant's going to last much longer, but we're going to power up Mabel a little more. Ah, just shy of a knockout on Palafin. And here comes the flip turn. Yep, I figured the flip turn would be coming pretty soon. Oh, absolutely, good game on the last round, too. So now Palafin is switching out to get that zero to hero boost and get its attack stat back. And then we got, ooh, Cinderace, nice. With the, uh, with the away game uniform. Now, Cinderace does have options that threaten both of my Pokemon, although Lilligant probably doesn't need a an all-out threat to be worried. Um, hmm. Okay, let's give this a shot. Yeah, okay, high jump kick goes off, and that is a knockout on Mabel, unfortunately. Even at max defense, it could not take that. And then my Pollen Puff goes nowhere. I was going to heal with it, but no such luck. All right, so Palafin's in there packing the acrobatics. Uh, let's see. Hmm. question is, what do I send in on this next round? Maybe go for this? And this one? Yeah, this one. Okay. 
We're going to send in one of our Oricorio and the other Lilligant. No, Curse is just doing weird shit with different form bonds. Yeah, it, it is a dancer team, but every Pokemon on the team has to be paired with a form counterpart. Let's see. So you got regular Lilligant and Hisui Lilligant, the two different Oricorio forms, and then regular Gudra and Hisui. Yep. Ah, uh, dang it. Yep. I should have called. I should have called the Pyro Ball coming out. That that was a huge misplay on my part. But Oricorio is faster, so it is getting the icy wind off. So maybe the speed control on Cinderace will help the rest of the team stand up a little better. Uh, ooh, you know what? This might be a good time for double Oricorio. And then Ms. Magius coming in. Okay. Uh, ooh. Okay, Ms. Magius has some good speed. I think we should go for this here. And... Or, okay, you know what? Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this play. As insane as it sounds, I'm actually doing this play because I've wanted to do this ever since Oricorio was first introduced to the video games. So we're going to Terra Fairy, hopefully getting rid of our weakness to, uh, to Ghost at least. Oh, and a weakness, uh, get rid of our Dark-type weakness too. Now we'll have Revelation Dance going off. And here's the second Revelation Dance. And now the other Revelation Dance. Oh, wow, that is a bulky Ms. Magius. Oh, oh, no, might change to a Fairy-type attack, didn't it? Oh, and I didn't get a second Dancer off of that. Okay, so I guess only one Dancer can trigger per turn? That's... that's wild. I mean, that makes sense, because otherwise it would be an endless loop. Oh, well, not necessarily an endless loop. Like, I was thinking... I was thinking, so... Or... The Electric danced first with Revelation Dance, causing the second one to go off, and then the second one got its own attack action, and I was thinking the other one would have gotten its, uh... It's set after that. No such luck, though. Let's see. So I was hoping for... I was hoping for four Revelation, dances. Revelation Dance changes to whatever type Oricorio is. So it became fairy type. That That is good to know. That, I, could, yes. I could get rid of the alluring voice then. Let's see. You can give it another ghost-type move. Yeah. Okay, let's try this play next. Okay, oh! Polyfan Jr.'s coming out with Protect. Come on, come on. Where's the... Dang it! Confusion knocked me, in, knocked me in the face. I was hoping to get a Quiver Dance off on that one to get a boost and then a boosted Revelation Dance. To finish Ms. Magius. No such luck on our part. Uh, Koma O could be a good one with the Klangoria Soul Blaze. The problem is, uh, with, with the team building structure, every Pokemon on the team has to be run as a pair, and Koma O does not have an alternate form like Gudra does. That's why the Gudra came in paired with the Lilligants. Yeah, you're not, uh, yeah, the... Curtis comes up with weird shit. I, for one, am not going to participate in this bullshit. <laughs> okay, Sylveon is going to be another powerhouse to deal with. Um. Oh, you know what? Maybe go for... What are we looking at here? Yeah, it is speed boosted, and I won't be able to really reverse it that much. You can try, but it's not going to help you. Okay, oh, hold on. Actually, 
do it this way. Oh, something's terrestrializing. Now, if I really wanted to get crazy with it, I would have put four Oracorio on the team. Maybe train each one with, like, one point less speed than the last one. Just so I can control the turn order. Alright, there we go. Quiver Dance for both. Okay, so apparently, revel so you can trigger four dances, but I guess only one Revelation Dance can be copied each turn. Good to know, good to know. Oh, and that picks, even with a plus one special defense, that Hyper Voice is wild. Oh, you know what? With So initially I went Terra Fairy to give the Ghost Oracorio uh a defensive typing. I could get I could give one of them like a steel type Terra or something else. Like I could just give them any Terra type just for the offensive typing. Specs could be OP. Oh, if I did a choice specs that would be wild. Oh, oh, you mean the up, uh, the uh, the Sylveon. Yeah, the Sylveon, if that's running choice specs, that was pretty, pretty big. Whew. Okay, Sylve yeah, Sylveon was specs. So that was an interesting playoff there. And in this, I did find out that um, it seems that the Revelation Dance is limited in how many times that particular dance can be copied. But you can still trigger a double Quiver Dance and a double Re Revelation Dance. So... Good to know, going forward. And now that I also know how the Oricorio's Revelation Dance works with its Terra typing, I should change both of their Terra types, because I gave the one Oricorio Electric to further boost the dance. I think it definitely needs to be changed to something else. Um, unfortunately, I am not able to use the team in Ladders, because you have to use different Pokemon that don't share Pokedex numbers. This is mostly just kind of a, it's a fun little silly format that uh, that we had put together. Uh, on the Discord channel, I put up a list of the Pokemon that are on there. Although there were a couple of things I need to add to the list um, from it. <laughs> 